What's up nail friends? In today's video I'm going to be doing a watch me work and I'm actually going to keep this video real time instead of speeding anything up. So my client Kat came in and this is what her set looked like. She broke her pointer finger on her other hand, or ring finger you can see, really really low. Um, I asked her how she did it and uh, she owns horses and uh, she uh, stepped back and uh, like smashed it by accident because of her horse. But it's okay and uh, so we're just gonna uh, re-sculpt that one. So to remove her crystals I use a um, like cuticle nipper that I've taken like I've used it a lot on crystals so it's not really even sharp anymore so that's what I use to remove crystals and then I just try to nip them all off before filing. Um, so this bit I'm just using to shorten. I'm really really holding the nail because if you're not careful this will go and like skip and it's really annoying. So I recommend usually not using a carbide to shorten but I was this time. Um, the carbide I'm using here is from Get Buff Nails. I always link um, everything I use in my description box so make sure you guys check that out. So I'm just holding her finger and then shortening them a bit and then I'll do most of my like shaping and shortening and refining by hand. This was her old set though, and I do have a video up if you guys want to see that. I will link that in my description box, and um, maybe up in the top corner if I remember. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going back and removing the rest of the crystals. I always remove crystals before filing them. You don't really want to file your crystals. You'll ruin your e-file bits, so I'm just trying to get these off carefully with my um, nippers. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with this bit and file her past acrylic set down to the base that she had there. Um, I'm just going down mostly and then side to side and you can see it's just taking that color off really easily. This is actually one of my favorite bits. I just purchased another one um, because this was going like it wasn't as sharp anymore because I had used it for so long. So I just purchased another one. So you guys will see soon like how great this bit is when it's brand new. So this is kind of like old and not as sharp anymore. So um, it does an okay job, but the fresh one's amazing. So I can't wait to show you guys in uh, more of my recent videos. But anyways, I'm just gonna file, keep filing down her set carefully. And uh, this is in real time, so how I in real time go over. I try to make sure that I'm never filing like too long on the nail because I don't want to burn her and I switch between her nails so I just file a bit and then I go to the next nail and then I switch to the next nail just so I don't burn her at all because I hate burning my clients. It's the absolute worst. <laughs> okay so this next bit that I'm going to use is a tapered flame bit. We usually have them on the nail throne, but we sold it out. Everybody loves this bit. It's really, really great. I use it to just file down around the cuticle area. It just helps de bulk. I use it underneath the nails. It's a really, really great bit. Great and versatile. So I'm just using this bit to um, file down while the other bit cools down. So I switch between bits just to make sure that nothing is too hot on my client. So I'm just using this to file down some more. And you can see I'm just switching through her nails carefully. And then I am going to file a little bit of her shape. So I'm using a metal file board here and I've got some of the refills on it. So this board is a metal file and then you place your uh, refills on it and then you can just, um, they're like sticky and you can just peel them off and throw them away. So you can always have a f nice fresh file and this uh, board is nice and straight. So um, it's really great for shaping. So I'm just using a hundred grit for shaping. So I'm switching to her other finger. And you can see this is real time, so this is how slow I am doing everything. I'm kind of just doing my rough shaping um, just to get my overall shape. Everything kind of just finished at the end, so all my shaping. Um, and finish filing and stuff like that. So I'm just rough shaping this so I can get started. Sorry, I'm just gonna be out of frame a little bit sometimes or or blurry just cause this is a real time video, but I will try to get rid of anything kind of crappy like out of frame. <laughs> so here I am filing a little bit more with this e-file bit.
then I am switching back um, to the other bit. So I kind of just switch back and forth between the bits, like I said, and file her nails down. Okay, we can get into prep a little bit here. So I am using a cuticle pusher to push the skin back. And this is from a nail throne. Um, and I'm just gently pushing her skin to reveal the cuticle that is on her nail plate. So you wanna remove the skin on her nail plate, which is the cuticle because that's what causes lifting. And you wanna make sure that you have a nice clean palette before starting any kind of application of gel products or acrylic products. That's what I'm doing, just pushing the skin back to reveal the cuticle. And then I am going back to filing with a um, carbide to remove some more of the color before I go in and do my cuticle prep. Okay, for cuticle prep, I really, really like this tool I've been using from Get Buff Nails. I will link it down below. So you go down the one side here, and then you can reverse your e-file and go down the other side so that um, you get nice and close. This is such a great bit for um, lifting that skin up and getting all the skin that needs to go. So I'm going to go down the right side first on all the nails carefully. This bit feels really nice, kind of like a little massage. I am trying to delete blurry stuff for you guys, so if you see it suddenly jump, that's why. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm just continuing my prep down both sides to get that skin up. And then I'm gonna switch here to this tool from Give Off Nails. And this is just an awesome tool. It's kind of like a flame bit without the point. So it's really nice and safe for beginners. So again, I'm just gently going down the one side and then I will reverse and go down the other side as well. This will just help get any extra pieces that that other bit missed of skin. You really, really need to get all the skin off or else it will just lift and it's just not great. Prep is really important. Okay, this is a ball bit, so this bit just smooths everything out. And that makes it a little easier for when you're doing um, application to make sure there's no pieces that are kind of sticking out that you'll accidentally hit with your acrylic and have lifting. So I again, go down the one side of the skin and then I reverse it. And this, again, like I said, just helps you with that um, skin that's kind of flaking up there and smooths everything out. It's really, really nice. Feels really nice too. Switching over to a sanding band here to get more of this color down because I'm getting close to the natural nail there So I want to make sure that I don't use a carbide anymore So I just using a sanding band to file a little bit more of that color down and make sure everything's nice and thin and flat So that my application um, is easy and smooth And then I brush away all the dust and then I'm gonna take a lint-free wipe and some alcohol and really, really get in there and cleanse all the dust away around the cuticle area and make sure there's no um, dust anywhere. Because dust also is a contributing factor to lifting. We don't want any lifting. So I just skipped here and I'm zoomed into that um, other hand here and I am going to sculpt a nail on this. <laughs> so I'm just using the glitter bells uh, forms and I'm just placing that under her nail and I will re-sculpt her little almond tip out for her. So I am going to use dehydrator and primer only on this nail while I am working on this nail um, and not on the other nails because there's just no point yet so added my dehydrator and then I'm going to grab my Glitterbell's acid free primer and apply that as well. I'm using the Glitterballs Gloss Slippers and Hema Free Monomer and a number eight brush. And I'm just picking up that and I'm pulling the skin back with the form and then I'm just flattening this, pushing up to meet the natural nail in the corner there, wiping off my brush and then I'm pushing the product with my brush up in the other corner. I'm not worrying about the shape or anything, I'm just trying to get the corners done. And then I will pat and pull and shape this. But first I'm trying to get this nice and into that corner. You don't want to make you want to make sure that the corner um, has product in it so that your client doesn't have like a tiny little crack there and have a break. So I'm just making sure that's nice in that corner and then I will shape into my almond shape. I am going to apply um, clear at the cuticle area because I'll just file this nail nice and flat and re redo this nail completely. Um, so I'm just going to do a clear base. I will leave that nail to sit and I'm going to work on this hand. So I'm going to go in with my Glitter Bells dehydrator on just the natural nail area, the regrowth. Okay. 
and then I will go in with my glitter balls acid free primer as well I thought this would be a fun, easy design to show you guys in real time. Um, the glitter I'm using is called Kiwi Crush from Goodrolls. So I'm just picking up a really small bead on my brush, you can see, and placing it near her cuticle area, but not quite at her cuticle area. And then I'm flattening it and pushing it towards her cuticle area, and then trying to get that nice and even. I'm not trying to do anything else with this except add this glitter at the cuticle, because I'm going to be doing kind of like a hidden, cute, um, peekaboo glitter at the cuticle. So something super simple and easy, but really pretty. My client wanted something simple because she was going away and she had to have simple nails um, for that. So I thought I would do this and I really like these colors that I picked together. So that's what I'm going to do on all the nails. Just picking up a bead, I bend her finger down and then I'm pushing close to her cuticle area and spreading that along. Tap tapping it along and then I clean off my brush every once in a while and I'm going to push that close into the cuticle area and then remove some extra glitter that's sticking up flatten that okay and then I'm going to do that on all the other nails pick up my bead <clears throat> um, place that down you can see I place it away from this cuticle skin so that I have some space to push it up towards there so I'm cleaning off my brush removing some of that monomer and now I'm pushing it close towards the cuticle area and spreading that down and then I'm pushing that up close trying to make sure that that cuticle line is nice and even and smooth and then flattening and removing any extra glitter Okay, the next step is to just apply clear. Pinky was out of frame, so I just got rid of it. So I'm just applying that clear and then flattening it and pulling it off, basically. I just want to get a really, really, really thin layer of clear over top of that um, glitter, just to kind of encapsulate it and keep it into place. Okay, the next step is to go in with the color that we're going to use, which is called Pretty Pudding, and I'm placing that underneath the other color, not quite um, on it, and I'm flattening this, and then I'm going to try to blend that that um, color over top of the um, clear that's covering the glitter, because this is supposed to be kind of like a hidden glitter cuticle fade. It's just really pretty, so we kind of do... Um, a little bit of our color over top or you can go in with like soft white since this is a very very light almost white um, light purple color um, it's light enough to be able to kind of uh, brush it over top of that and give that kind of same effect 
So after I've placed that down, I pat and pull this into my almond shape. I try to make sure that my application is really clean and smooth um, so that I have minimal finish filing to do at the end. And then I just applied some clear again over top of everything. Going back in with my pretty pudding, and now I am patting that over top of that wet clear. I'm really, really trying to um, blend this glitter just so it really, really kind of appears hidden and not obvious and like in your face. It's just supposed to be a subtle glitter kind of cuticle area. So I'll zoom in for you guys to see that again. Okay, I'm going in with the pretty pudding. Applying it down along the line, cleaning off my brush, flattening, and I'm kind of just pushing the color with my brush, like tap, 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 push, to blend that up. Tap, 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 push with wet tip of my brush to kind of blend that into that. And we wanted to add that clear just to protect that glitter, just so we don't over cover it. And now I'm patting this and using the tip of my brush to move the product where I need it. And then I'm going to pat this and pull, and then I'm gonna need to add more because I didn't add enough. That's okay, because you can always add more. Okay, so we can encapsulate this set now. So this is how they look. So I'm going to go in with my glass slippers and I'm going to encapsulate these. You're not going to need a huge bead or anything because these are shorter salon-like nails. So with salon nails, you really can just encapsulate in one big bead usually. So I am applying that near the cuticle area, getting my cuticle bead and then bending the finger down to help gravity and then pulling off the product I don't need while building everything up. Her nails are actually quite short, so that's why these are nice, easy um, salon length nails. So I'm working on her next nail, bending the finger downward for gravity, placing that clear bead away from the cuticle area and then using my brush to push it where I want it. Wiping my brush off often to remove that um, monomer to help me be able to maneuver my acrylic where I need it. I'm gonna look at it from the side. I always wanna check to see if my apex is in place. And then I'm shaking my clear there just so I can make sure it's nice and flat again and smooth so I could dip in easy and pick up a bead really easily. Again, placing my bead, cleaning off my brush, and then pushing up into place.
Okay, so here's how they look. The right hand and left hand before they are filed. And then I'm using my phone to do some TikToks here. So if you guys want to follow me on TikTok, I do some fun stuff. And it is at Small Shop Secrets. For finish filing, I am using my awesome small uh, comb bit again. I'm using this to file under her nail a little bit there, pull up some of that, and then I'm going to go around the cuticle area. This is a great bit for the cuticle area. I'm just using this to debulk a little bit. And because it's a medium bit, you don't have to worry about accidentally filing too much off or anything. You have a lot of control over uh, medium uh, carbides. And I'm just using this around the cuticle area and then trying to keep my apex in place. I'd like to do a lot of my filing by hand. Okay, I'm switching to a hand file to file my shape. I'm just carefully filing into my almond shape and checking often. And then I try to match all the nails to be the same. I like to file under the nail and then up, just under and up, just try to thin out that um, free edge shape. Then I'm going to use my hand file to file and debulk with the 180 and you can see I am using that to shape and go over the whole nail around the cuticle area and the free edge, trying to keep my apex in place and really refine my shape.
switch over to a 240 grit file and I like to use that to um, shape around the cuticle area and the tip again. Okay, and then here's the thumb. I'm gonna work on that now. Going around the cuticle area with that. You can see that speed, I'm kind of just not super, super fast filing this. Again, everything is in real time. I did not speed anything up in this video. I'm gonna switch to a hand file and shape my free edge with that. And then I will file and debulk and shape this into the shape that I want. I like to go back over the other nails and make sure they're all refined and the shape that I want. So that's what I'm doing here. After I finish files, I'm going to switch to a buffing block and I'm just going to buff around the cuticle area and under the nail on all the nails. Make sure to remove all the dust, brush that all away, and then cleanse the nails. But first I was going to show uh, the hands, one hand filed versus the other hand not filed there. You can see the shape difference in filing, refining your shape. And then I showed that on TikTok as well. Okay, so crystal time. So like I said, this set is super, super simple. So we're just going to add a little bit of crystals on this set. I am using my Glitter Balls um, Effortless Adhesion Glue to apply my crystals. But first I'm just going over with a lint-free wipe to cleanse to make sure there's no dust before we go into our top coat. Okay, so I'm just going to do a really simple design on her ring finger. Um, and I'm going to be using my Moon Flare Crystals. I'm just picking up uh, one of these opal ones and putting it in the center. And then applying some more crystal glue. 
and then applying more crystals. Okay, I'm going to go in with my glitter balls and a white top coat on all these nails. This is what they look like. I did some more crystals on her ring finger, just some dots. I thought that looked really cute underneath that, like, hidden glitter. Anyways, I'm going to top coat these nails. Um, and then I'm going to cure in my lamp for two minutes. And then I always have my clients take their nails out of the lamp and sit for a minute before applying cuticle oil. And then I have them wash their hands before I take photos. I really, really hope you guys like this real-time um, nail tutorial design. If you did, let me know down below and I can do some more real-time instead of speeding up the videos. Let me know. Um, I have a nail class coming up on Saturday, so make sure if you guys are interested in joining my nail class, I'm going to be going over some fun acrylic designs. It is on Saturday, October 15th, and it is 10% off. I will link that in my description box. Make sure you guys check my description box for everything that I used in this video. Um, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Check out all my other videos and let me know down below what you thought of the real time um, tutorial. The set took me mm, just under two hours, I think, and she gave me 105. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!